recently there's been talk that Facebook, Instagram, Meta, the parent company, is starting to go downhill because for the very first time, Facebook lost users. This is the first time in its history since 2006 that Facebook has lost users rather than gained users. Now, to be clear, they haven't lost monthly, they've, they've lost daily users, but they haven't lost monthly users. Now, what's the difference? Daily users are people who log in every day. Monthly users are people who log in at least once a month. They haven't, they, they continue to gain monthly users, but they just lost some Facebook, uh, just a little bit, small percentage of daily users. But people are saying, oh my God, doom and gloom, you know, Facebook, it's the end of the empire. Um, you know, now, now we just, we should all just stop using Facebook, Instagram ads. So that's, to me, um, that is, that's, it's, it's not a well thought out argument because for those of us who actually run Facebook, Instagram ads on a daily basis, we see what the numbers are. And my numbers are as good, if not better than before, um, because like I said, up until this very moment, Facebook has kept growing, growing, growing every single year. And so it's huge. I mean, it's like almost 3 billion human beings use Facebook on at least a monthly basis and almost 2 billion people use Facebook on a daily basis and almost, uh, almost 1 billion use Facebook or Instagram on a daily basis. I mean, it's, it's enormous. And so we're, we're talking about a tiny, tiny loss and people are, you know, crying like it's the, the sky is falling. It's not. It's, we're still. You're still able to. Uh, I'm still putting my bet on Facebook. Not bet. I mean, I'm literally running it every single day, and I see the numbers every day come through. I'm like, it's still great. When the numbers get to a point where I'm like, yeah, it's no longer worth investing. You'll. I'll be. I'll be the first person to tell you, because because I will have stopped doing it, and I will tell you to stop doing it. But it's. I, I don't see it going. Uh, I don't, I still see it being worthwhile, both as ad platform, but also organically. If you don't run ads, it's still worthwhile for at least the next five, probably 10 years, right? It's, right now we are, what is it, 16 years into the Facebook, uh, you know, starting and it's been growing, 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 16 years growth. How long is it going to take it to decline until it's, you know, like the Roman empire dies out? probably, I, I would say at least 10 years before it die. I mean, it's probably never going to die out because it's so embedded in culture at this point. But um, yeah, I would say five years, easy, easy bet that five, five years is going to be just fine. Um, and then, and, and it's not going to be an overnight, you know, like the disappearance, obviously too, right? It's going to be a gradual disappearance over time. So five years, I'm just going to go strong. And then maybe after five years, I'll stop investing as much into it and then let it decline for you know so so in other words it's totally it's totally fine but yeah if you are um if you enjoy making short videos that are entertaining and that's the audience you want to build and and faith you do a great job i laugh at your videos i think they're great um you know one of the favorite videos i watch on reels on instagram you should definitely be on tiktok right uh so if like i said if you enjoy making short videos and you want to build an audience it's okay to use tiktok the problem i have with tiktok is that it builds a mass audience that's quite broad and um because it's easy for for stuff to go viral on tiktok yeah oh yay i got a hundred thousand followers okay but who who the heck are they <laughs> really really broad um and i don't know i mean if you're getting business from tiktok wonderful if it if it's if it's if you're finding business value for the time you spend on TikTok. Go, I mean, with any platform, right? You're finding the business value based on the time you spend, you should do it. I just find that with, with TikTok, it's um, the kind of mass audience is not my audience. And uh, I don't want to, there's a, there's a it, it's, you know, that should be a separate conversation. But basically, I think we need to balance out um, targeted audience versus fame. I think that, um, yeah, I'm going to talk about it separate, but it's like, it's not good to be famous. Well, is it better to be famous than being obscure? Maybe, but it's, it's, better, to, it's better to have a, a client waiting list than it is to be famous because fame just brings so much uh, direct messages and all the stuff that we don't actually want to deal with. But um, so I hope this is helpful.